Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on our E93 M3. We're going to be doing some maintenance today by changing out the coolant fluid. So let's go ahead and work on it. This is what I have so far. Some distilled water to mix with the BMW OEM coolant or antifreeze, which is blue. We also have this drain pan that measures how many quarts comes out of the system so that we know how much we drain. And then also I have this bleed screw. It's a brass one so that it doesn't strip or break because the plastic one tends to break. Start off by removing your under tray. Mine is aluminum right over here. So I already have it out. Yours might be felt if it's the OEM one, but either way. Once you remove that, your drain plug is right over here. This is the radiator drain plug, so you're just going to use a screwdriver to unscrew it and then it'll come draining straight out over here. Make sure before you open this that the car is cooled down because you don't want to burn yourself. The coolant can be very hot, so be very careful guys. As soon as you remove the drain plug, you want to go ahead and remove the cap to the OEM reservoir and that's going to release more fresh pressure. And now you can see it's free flowing out. So I was able to drain out about almost four quarts of coolant. Typically there's about eight quarts of coolant or two gallons in the system. So it looks like you're able to get almost a gallon out when you drain from the radiator. There's still some that's left in the engine block and the heater core. If you wanna do a thorough job, you can drain and fill it multiple times. And each time you run the car, you wanna make sure you turn on the heater and make sure that the system is circulating so that you can get more of the old coolant out. But I'm just gonna do one drain and fill. That should be enough. This is the condition of it right now. Almost a tealish color. Normally it's supposed to be more blue than this, but not too bad overall. I'm gonna go ahead and let it drain a little more, and then we're gonna go start filling it up soon. So we want about a 50% mix of coolant and distilled water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 50% in this empty bottle of coolant and then 50% of the distilled water so that I have the pre-mix set up on this bottle. So that's what the new coolant looks like. It's very blue compared to that, which is more of a tealish color. Now it's time to fill it with distilled water. I'm using the baby version for distilled water because it's cheaper. It's time to go ahead and put this back on. This is your radiator drain plug. You could replace the O-ring in here. Uh, I won't today, but definitely a good idea to if you can. We just introduced a lot of air into the system as well, so go ahead and remove your bleed screw. And you can start to see some of the bubbles coming out there. We're also replacing this screw because it's plastic and tends to break very easily. All right, so we just filled it up. This is how much is left in our bottle right now. Looks like we just used a little over three quarts. And we have about less than one quart left, which we'll probably need to top off the system when we bleed it. So save this. I have the brass bleed screw now. I have it loosely installed so that we can let some of the bubbles escape. Go ahead and squeeze your upper radiator hose a few times. So just letting some of the air out through the bleed screw as I squeeze. You can see some of it coming out little by little. 
Let's go ahead and turn on the car. Next thing you're gonna do is max out the AC or the heater, turn off the AC, and then leave the fan on low, which it is right now. And this is going to bleed the system. After letting the engine run for five minutes with the heater on, go ahead and let it cool down for a bit and then we're going to open it up and see if we need to top off. Looks like we're good so far. Still, you do want to check periodically for the first few days. Every time you drive the car, wait for it to cool off first then open the cap and check your fluids because it is normal for it to fluctuate a little and you might have to top off. But if not, that's a job well done. Good work. That's how you replace the coolant in your E93 M3 or E9X M3. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good evening.